Hello everyone, my name is Estrid Hilsbos. I'm Dutch, but I'm living for almost 25 years in Italy. And today I want to show you how you can create your own self-made 3 thixie images. Very useful if you want to create a different thinking 3 thixie And also uh, it's very useful for your students to demonstrate and to develop their digital skills. Uh, well, the first things we need to know is that every 360 image is like a Sorcher field. So this is something you need to have in your mind when you look at an image. Uh, Thinklink is uh, permitting us every time, every month, a, a bigger uh, solution. But what is important that the maximum resolution is this one and it, it needs always to have a ratio from 2 till 1. Uh, normally I prefer this one and then the second thing I take many of my images from Pixabay, Pexels or Flickr. You can find this image, this think link, in, uh, inside the tour. Uh, you will get the link of it and then you can explore uh, which kind of images uh, we used to uh, remake different uh, think links. Okay. Then, the first thing we need to know is to take a normal image and to observe how this image is made. Okay, so this is the first thing, it's really important. Then, if we know, um, and it's not that you need to look at it in a sync link, but you need to, to look at the image when you open it in your own desktop, in your own PC. So then you can see every uh, every side and by example you can see this is the center and in this side the, the both sides can overlap themselves and it's important always to have a little bit of extra size in the upper side and in the lower side after all after all, after all i will show it better then this is my first image, one of the first images made, and now we can go to explore it. Here you can see, you can see it was a little bit overlapped, but not so much. It was a good image. This is the, the thing why I said it's better to have a little space. Well, what is creativity? This is also an image I found on Pixabay, you can use it. Creativity is inventing, experimenting, growing, taking risks, breaking rules, making mistakes and having fun. Well, for me, uh, create my own 66 grade image is this. So, explore this image and you can find something, some reasons why I like to make my 360 images. An essential aspect of creativity is not being afraid to fail. Try out and uh, take the challenge also to make your own your own images. This one is very nice. It's Amsterdam, you know I'm Dutch. And I made it, it was a tryout with Adobe. So I took an image of uh, kennel houses and then I uh, I try to make a, a white black uh, image. The only thing is always important is the ratio two till one, and to take a good uh, high resolution like six thousand is to three thousand pixels. Another very interesting images. We uh, we remain in Holland. This image, this images is taken from the side of the Rijksmuseum. The Rijksmuseum gives many images you can use. Then it's a puppet house and you see how nice it is. It's a normal image. Okay. Uh, really it's nice to go to show. Afterwards you can... Les paraules son forques, donatrosos, tenjo, larao. Here you can see where I take the image. So explore this slideshow and you can see everything. This is another image of, of art, of holy art. This image is made by Luca Paolini, an Italian teacher. And 
you can see how some images also give a special dimension when you use it in 360. So also explore it and you will surely enjoy it. This is something totally different, learning to play. It's made in inside an experiment of Edmodo. Here you can see, I really didn't change so much to this image, but it was very special. And to give a special um, dimension to this image, I set up the, the initial in the settings, the initial direction of the image. Then this is the most important uh, thing, Link360, I want to show you now. So I go in full screen. And here you can see, this is one of my most beautiful. And it was totally reviewed. Well, the first thing I want to show you is your initial image on Pixar. You can go, I will not go now in this moment. This was the original image. You can also find this image in uh, Pixabay. Okay, explore it. It's very important when you download an image to uh, search for the highest resolution because when you are going to remake and redimension, then you always will cut. So, higher resolution download is impo very important. Then, what did I do? Um, I used from uh, Flickr, now we will see, I found a photo from Wilfried Snetzler and I used this little part you can see in the inside, otherwise we will see in here now. This is for the Italian teachers and this is for the English speaking teachers. Well, first we are going here. I made a Google document, you can see it after downloading. So. Here was the image I downloaded. This was the first step. Then I said before, explore normal 360 HSO and try to understand the composition. And here I duplicated to give a bigger and different dimension. So try out also when you are composing what you can do. And in the original uh, image, I took this detail and I duplicated it two times. So this was for getting this, this one, okay. Then we are going back. So when you have an image, it's always uh, important to think about that the 360 will become like this. So the upper side and the downside, they will a little bit uh, reduce. So, and that's why I multiplied some, some uh, details of the, the, the upper side and the lower side of the image. Okay. Then I didn't finish because in a second time, I took uh, vector images. Uh, you can also, every, you can find them on Pixabay and other sites. And then I download them, I copied the vector, and then uh, I opened, I already had opened my, this image, and I pasted these vectors inside. In the third step, I always, I showed you before the photo of uh, Wilfried, and I took this detail and I multiplied this, this, this detail three times, okay? And this was to create this, this detail. Then I have this. I already saw, I started from this one. Okay. And there are also um, transparent uh, links. So you can afterwards really show what we did and why we used uh, these images for. The attribution of the music you don't will not find here. And if you like to explore a little bit about Turandot, what was uh, mentioned, the, the thinking was mentioned to be to explain something about Puccini's Turandot, 
then you can go inside the, the video. This simply was made by me uh, as Street Hosa Boss and uh, I use the pixel photo and a detail of a photo from Wilfried Schnitzer, so the attribution. And here at least if someone likes to uh, try out and to make and share with me uh, the link of his uh, think link with the which you have made with your um, then I would let I would be very glad uh, to receive uh, this as a response okay thank you very much this was what I would like to show you here can you can find the other think links I talked about before oh yes and some other details this is a C360 classroom and you can see you can animate your classroom also with vector images like just as I showed before. I find this one I found on Flickr. And this one I really didn't need to to change because when your eye uh, can can see what you can use really and you try out some effects you can really find very nice combinations. And so this was the last one. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, see you on in the Thinking Challenge. Bye bye.